Our latest creation shows the normal eye anatomy. Generally, the normal eye is surrounded by periorbital fat and muscles, not visualized here. They are then surrounded by bony parts forming the orbit. The bones visible here are the frontal, nasal bone, zygomatic and maxilla. The other bones that are not visualized here are lacrimal, palatine, ethmoid and sphenoid bone. And all these bones are still part of the orbit, but not visualized here. Now, after removal of the surrounding bones and fat, we can see both the eyes. The anteriorly visible part of the eye is the conjunctiva, which is palpebral and bulbar part which covers the sclera and stops at the limbus, which is the junction between the cornea and sclera. You could visualize the iris and lens as the cornea, aqueous humor and the lens are completely transparent part of the eye. Here you can see the extraocular muscles inserted into the sclera, that is, the superior rectus and superior oblique. Moving laterally, you can see the lateral rectus and inferiorly and now moving inferiorly, you can see the inferior oblique and the inferior rectus and going medially, the medial rectus. All these muscles are ultimately attached to the tendinous ring. This ring is also called the annular ring. This ring surrounds the optic nerve and is also known as the annular tendon or common tendinous ring. It's a ring of fibrous tissue and it is the common origin of muscles except the inferior oblique. Now, removal of the extraocular muscle shows how fully exposes the optic nerve with its sheath. The optic nerve sheath refers to three meningeal membranes, which I'll tell you later. The upper part of the sclera on removal reveals the external choroid, its parts of ciliary body and iris. The inner retina with its interior part, the aura serrata, merging into the ciliary body was also visible. The choroid once completely removed shows the lens with its suspensory ligaments and whole of the retina filled up with vitreous humor. Now you will see the inner view of the retina after removal of the lens and the vitreous humor. As we zoom in to the posterior part, we can see the fovea, the macula on one side and the optic disc blind spot on the other side. Now all parts are again added up sequentially to form the complete model as before. Now I'm going to tell you the sheath that the optic nerve sheath with what is made up of. It's made up of durameter, arachnoid meter and pi meter. Now you can see the superior oblique with the middle tendinous part sliding on the trochlear ligament attached to the frontal bone and working as a pulley for the action of superior oblique. In the posterior view, here you can see one more bone forming the orbit, the sphenoid, bo sphenoid bone which I told you about. 
with its greater and lesser wings and optical canal in the center.